I feel this is uh, a mother figure for Rosemary, and uh, as she's very um, nurturing in regarding Rosemary. Um, but as time went on, I feel that her and Rosemary would um, be almost sisterly in the communication and the relationship that they had. And I feel that she was very, uh, um, very much a friend uh, to Rosemary. I'm seeing her on a mound, um, and I think I, I feel this is a, a symbolic thing, uh, being on a mound and actually looking across. Um, over people's heads and uh, looking back uh, at the the landscape behind all these people and um, and talking projecting her voice I feel she was able to describe things and project her voice really well um, and and give information out to people um, and there's the word loyalty just suddenly popped in there. And I do feel that people would have listened to her um, and followed her, uh, following that loyalty. She's such a um, giving person um, and a person who really wants others to do well. Absolutely fantastic communicator. Really good communicator. And it's interesting earlier, I had problems with my throat uh, because I wanted to project my voice and I couldn't. And as I'm talking again, it's happening again, which is very interesting. Um, as I'm um, allowing her to talk to me, I feel that what is she what she's showing for Rosemary is um, standing right behind Rosemary um, as she talks, as Rosemary um, in fact talks to other people as well. And I'm seeing her, but I am noticing behind Rosemary as she stands, she's holding up a banner. Um, and again, I feel like this is um, women's rights to do, uh, and almost protest, things that she might have protested um, against, because I am seeing this woman around the 60s, the 50s and the 60s, um, which would have been her heyday, I suppose, in a way, um, and I, yeah, I, I'm kind of seeing her very much dressed in the 60s garb. Um, now, I don't know whether, uh, for some reason I'm getting the the city of Auckland in New Zealand. I do feel that um, I'm being given um, the impression of art um, and poetry uh, this lady as well. I feel she has a, an appreciation of art um, and would have um, done art herself. She would have done that. Um, but I am seeing um, diaries and written diaries that I feel this lady would have written in. Um, or oh, manuscripts, I'm just being given the word manuscript. Just asking um, for names. Um, and the name, I've just been given the name Joan, uh, but also the name of Matthew. Um, uh, right, uh, now I've also just been given uh, the words um, uh, pertaining to uh, uh, like pregnancy or the birth of, um, now for some reason umbilical or, or umbilical detachment and I'm not sure in what context that means really because I'm not sure why umbilical, umbilical and detachment would be together whether there was an issue or a problem at some stage. I'm also, I do feel like there could have been um, of problems, problems with her, her pregnancy at some stage because I am seeing her pregnant and then um, 
uh, certain problems with the pregnancy. Uh, but I do feel like the uh, the birth was full term. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, if any further information comes, um, I'll add it to this tape. Okay, thank you very much and God bless.